Hello, what's up, my YouTube nation? It's Legendary Justin, and today I'm here with Evan. And I'm going to first hey. show you guys my main deck and side deck. So it's I carry the Ice Colossus in case I don't get a Shadow Pip, Abominable Weavers, Barrages, Ice Blades, Feints, uh, Sharpened Blades, TC, very important. I carry three Pierce, three Feint, three Clench Charm, and three Elemental Blade. And I have that pretty much on both my Ices. And then he's got Balance and a Myth. So the Myth can also, um, you know, Shatter if it has to, or use a hit, you know. Yeah. And then we do a trick where we run around the Snowman. Like, so we run around the left of the Snowman, but we also have someone Mark. So Sophia's going to go run in first. And, you know, basically join... Wait, you Mark and then join the battle, right? Yeah, Mark, join the battle, and then uh, come back. Yeah, but I think Sophia, you're you're marking like after you go through the gates, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Oh, and then also having potions would be helpful. So I've got two potions on Duncan, like in case I ever run out of mana. Yeah. Let's see. All right, so Duncan's through, and then I'm gonna run Aaron through. I already fled on Sophia, so I'm just getting mana real quick. <laughs> so yeah the strategy for baba yaga is we're gonna faint 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 like we're gonna try like at least two three different faints and then blade stack so if we had like amulet faint that would also help but i don't have an am amulet faint on my, both my characters yet but i could buy it real quickly for that extra faint but and then pet faint would be good too but let's see yeah, I mean, the pet, you don't really want to do pet faint unless you have a really good pet with pet faint, but I used to have those pets, but my old account got banned. All right, so we're going to walk in right now. You ready? Uh, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's walk through, walk through, walk through. It's very important to get in first turn because you don't want to get the um, stupid egg, that bullshit. Yeah. Um, I'm going to enchant the... All right, I'll just save the enchant. I'm going to Ice Blade first turn on Aaron, and then um, I'm gonna. I don't have Put and Faint yet. Mm. I can tease. I'll use that. I'm gonna Ice Blade Duncan. So, yeah, so Duncan did Sharpened 45 Elemental Blade. Sophia did Potent, potent Faint, right? No, TC. Or TC faint. Okay, TC faint. We still need potent faint and normal faint. And then Duncan did ice bubble because if you you do whatever bubble like you have for the school that's going to be hitting, bubble works. So I did 35% ice damage bubble. If you want to go try hard, you can carry TC ice bubble, but normal yeah. will work. Normal will work. Wait, you use, you use sharpen elemental or TC... Wait, no, you use sharpen elemental, right? Yeah, I use sharpen. Oh. <laughs> I, I, yeah. That's fine. I can potent faint. I can potent faint too. Um, potent, potent faint's good. Potent faint's good. I'll find a pierce we need on, a... um. I'm gonna. Well, we can do two hits. Yeah, that's fine. See. So yeah, we're basically we're, ba we're blading up Duncan, and then we're trying to get rid of that stupid tower shield. And then after three turns, the second minion goes in. So basically, you want to use a barrage to kill the second minion, or I mean the first minion, first minion. Yeah. Let's see. Hopefully, one of my characters gets a shadow pip. It's like it's hard to kill before the first minion because. Shadow pips are kind of rare, like sometimes, but yeah. All right, didn't get any. Okay, your myth got shadow pip. That's good. Um, let's see. I don't have a um, the prism up yet, though. I'm gonna use a fifty blade on Duncan, and then I'm gonna use. You're using normal faint, okay? Um, let's see. I could use. I can use normal faint. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I didn't decide to hit that one because I wanted to wait for the 50 blade before I hit. The only problem with this strategy is, you know, you could attempt the... Everyone could stun block, but it just takes, like, a ki an entire turn for everyone. So it's better just to, like, let one person get stunned, you know, for two turns. I think it's better, you know? Yeah. You could get... Everyone could get stunned, though, like, by Frost Giant or, like, whatever else, but... Or, like, the all attack... You know, I mean, the stun for everyone, you know? Yeah. Are you still there? Yeah. yeah. Alright. He got plenty of feints, so... And then Duncan's got a good amount of blades. If Duncan gets a Shadow Pip, he might just, uh... Abominal, or Barrage. Barrage him, yeah. Alright, let's see. So this is currently turn 4. So, let's see. Um... I got Abominal Weaver on Duncan. I think it's Duncan, right? Wait, I should probably just use that. Mm, I, I'll just kill Baba Yaga now, why not? Yeah. And then on this character, I will Ice Blade. I'll Ice Blade myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to kill. It's got Bubble with all those blades. Yeah. And then Triple Faint. Yeah, Triple Faint too. And the Crit. Oh, the Crit's not going to land. Pro it might, but... Triple Fain is really good, though. So yeah, that's how you kill Baba Yaga. And then as far as killing the minion, it's not any harder. It's super easy to kill the minion. All we're going to do is... Oh, my... 143,000. Damn. <laughs> we showed Baba Yaga who's boss. Like, I mean, that's how you get it done, you know? Yeah. And then um, you're probably going to use a myth hit on the minion, and I'll use a... Ice hit on Aaron, okay? Okay. And we'll kill that minion. We should try to get some feints on it. Uh, I think maybe Duncan can faint and then um, Sophia can faint, right? Probably, if I, if I pull a TC1. Alright. If not, I can just blade. I'm going to use Barrage on Aaron. And then I'm going to use... Hmm... Wait, what kind of faint did you use? TC faint? Okay. I'm going to use sharpened elemental 40 on Aaron. And it might even kill with just Aaron's hit. But this is how you easily do Baba Yaga. I would just recommend playing it safe. Like, don't go for, like, the two-turn or the three-turn, like, kill. Just go for, like, the five-turn because, you know, then you're guaranteed to kill Baba Yaga. In case, especially if they shield, you know? Yeah. Oh, I fizzled. <gasps> I fizzled. Oh, that, that's tragic, though. Okay, and well, in case you fizzle, then you're kind of screwed. I don't think any more minions can come. Is so Baba Yaga going to kill or no? Probably not. I didn't crit. Let's see. No, I didn't kill. Yeah, Myth is just not that strong. I mean... It can be good, but it's just like, for this type of work, Myth is not the greatest hitter, you know? Let's see. Wait, you got another Shadow Pip, though. You could use another one, right? Or no? I can Mystic, I think. Let's see. Um, I don't think Aaron's going to fizzle, though, again. I don't know. It depends on if Aaron gets has a hit or not. see okay Aaron will just kill real quickly with uh barrage so yeah I mean once you kill Baba Yaga you don't have to worry because the minion can't activate another minion so it's from there it's really easy yeah and then also we're gonna let you know what kind of drops we get for our Baba Yaga runs for YouTube yeah the reason we're farming is for the the critical ring critical anthem and then Critical boots would be also good, yeah. Wait, they actually they don't drop critical boots, right? Not critical boots. I don't think that. I think that's Rasputin. No, I think it's just the it's just the ring and the anthem. We want the ring and the anthem, yeah. Also, a uh, spellproof or defy jewel would be really cool. Um, you got nothing on Aaron. On Duncan, we got. I got a piece of steel. 
Oh, I got the um, the critical block anthem, but with the two circle jewels, you know. Oh, dude, it gives it gives um a pretty decent myth hat. It gives the Titan Warrior uh, myth hat. Yeah. The one that's yeah, kind of kind of like Rasputin one, but yeah, I mean Dark Moor is really good though. I mean your stats are crazy good, especially that pet's good. Yeah. So what um, Ronin did was he got the uh, he got the Defy Jewel from either the daily questing or the daily like quests or Baba Yaga, right? Yeah, I don't remember which one. I know that I know that she drops the five jewels, though, so it might have been her. But that's how you guys do Baba Yaga. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Say bye. Bye.